Pray without ceasing. When should we be praying? We do not pray until something happens. No, we do not pray because we are in the sick bed. We do not pray because we are up against the wall. We do not pray because we are lacking. We do not pray because we are facing trials and tribulations. We do not pray because life is difficult. We do not pray because our enemies are raising against us. We do not pray only when it pleases us. We do not only pray in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. We don't just pray because we feel like it. We don't just pray because a song tells us to pray or encourages us to pray. But we pray without ceasing. That is praying without stopping. That is praying in good times. That is praying in bad times. And that is praying in between those times. Pray without ceasing. Pray when you are hungry. Pray when you are full. Pray when you are happy. Pray when you are sad. Don't you dare stop to pray. Always pray without ceasing. Because prayer is constant communication with God. That is why the word of God encourages us to keep praying. Don't you dare stop praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Don't you dare stop. Because life is a battlefield of the mind. And when you are in constant prayer, your mind is constantly ready to fight off the enemy. You need to constantly be ready for battle by constantly keeping in prayer. If you are constantly praying, the enemy cannot touch you. The enemy cannot come close to you because you are an untouchable vessel of God. Teach your mind to constantly be zoned into prayer. That will help you to keep far away from useless things, useless rumors, useless gossips, useless friendship, useless communication, useless music. Because your duty, your job as a child of God is to be in constant prayer. That is to be in constant communion with God. If you are done praying for yourself, pray for someone else. If you're done praying for someone else, pray for your family. If you're done praying for your family, pray for the country. If you're done praying, hey, pray for the city. Pray. There's a million things that we can pray for. The word of God says, if my people who are called by my name can humble themselves and do what? And pray. Pray. Stop being lazy and pray. Cut your sleep short and pray. Prioritize. Prayer is most important. Pray, pray, pray without ceasing.